fastball on a jump. Tuesday night, it's New York going up against Cincinnati. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Number 19, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the play, defensively when he's on the bases. I and mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about ready to roll here. And today's starting pitcher, number 55. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack. Hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get. Here's some real power at the plate. The Bambino Perez. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. On a line, base hit. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Throw to second and great jump. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's a speed threat, number three. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And he grounds one back up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Got him. And a quick out number one. Batting second. The left fielder. Number Here's 15. the left fielder. Number 15. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Yeah. In there in its own one. Perez, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a slider. And there's a foul ball. The 2 On the ground, right side. And that chance handled in plenty of time to first, two up, two down. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Two outs, space is empty. Harry McCormick getting ready to hit. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, yeah. memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three.
back here at the ballpark. Second inning set to go. Here's the shortstop at the play. Number 73. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just. So first and second with two outs. The Bambino Perez, the next to hit. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Strike one. All one's the count. In the air, left field. Makes a nice run of catch. And that'll do it. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The All Nations on top here, three to nothing. Bottom of the second, and here's the first baseman, Carpenter. The first baseman, number 46. The pitch. That's yeah, that's ball. too high. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. On the ground. Sends it across it. the first. One up, one down. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Charlie right Jones. Field. Homered last Charlie. night, added another hit as well. And the first pitch oh, misses counts. for ball one. There's a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Next oh, pitch in the dirt. And yeah, that's ball two. That one ripped, but foul. Righty to the plate. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And now John Riley. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And he saved it first. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. He stood no chance with the speed running down the line. Two outs, runner at first. Number 64 digs in now. That's in there. That's strike one. Riley off of first with two away. Here's the pitch. Runner on the goal. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Runner at second. Two down. That's a ball. Next pitch misses. Ball one. One ball. Two straight. Good nope. eye right there. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Welcome back. On to the third inning, and stepping in is the speedy Roger Connor. Here's the center fielder, number 19. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And a pitch. That's a strike. Pitch is in there. And the count is 0-2. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. 
in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Now it's going to be Snyder. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Snyder goes five feet, 11 inches, 28 years old. And he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Next offering is in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. And there's a ball. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. So the batting order turns over, and now number three. This guy has turned into a beast. In the dirt, blocked, but no advance. That's ball one. And the 1-0. Runner on the go. There's a ball. Safe in second, and that was not close. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Yeah, there's the strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The pitch. Runner on the go again. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. And he deals. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Fouls it back with two strikes. He wanted that fastball high and tight. Looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. In the air, left side. Ward, he ranges to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go Number up the 15. middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Number 15 Whoa, stands in here. Takes ball one low. And that is cut on and missed. One and one. That's strike one. Bringing the cheese on that one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. One, ball, one and two. two. In the air to left center. Ward coming in on it. Makes the catch inning over. Number 77 Lydia now at the plate. The, all nation, the shortstop. Number 73. Ow. He's out. Ow. Now it's the DH, Harry McCormick. He's the over one. Hitter. He's kind of an outlier, especially McCormick. when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver Aye. power. That one catches the zone. 0-1. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And that one hops the wall. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. He was all over that one. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer, and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Carpenter 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. No, if he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he could put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Jones in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Now the third baseman, John Riley, third baseman. reached on an infield John. single his first time. Riley. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining oh, pitch recognition. Right. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays hey. in the zone a long time, and that produces ball, solid contact right. consistently. So now one and two. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. So the lineup flips over, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder number 12. And next is the designated hitter, the Bambino Perez. Cruising on the mound right now, but a dangerous hitter here in this spot. A guy with some slug to him. And first offering is fouled off. Strike two. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. That one the other way. And makes the play, and that's out number three. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Last half of the fifth coming up. The All Nations with the lead three to nothing. Number 64 getting ready to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Number 64. Perez back to work. And that oh, one is inside. Back. You know, this group of hitters finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Right side. And the leadoff man Get set out. down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of Number keeping 19. the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now at the plate, number 19. Went down on strikes his first time through. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Bounce to the left side, and that's just foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul off the plate, they'll do it again. And that's in the dirt. That one not close, and it's two and two. The wind of the pitch. That's a base hit. Now batting, number 28. So man aboard, and here's the catcher, Snyder. Ball one, no strikes. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat. 
very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Run around the goal. Pitch is low. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. You know, nights like this, when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home run so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Ouch. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. Back to the top of the lineup. Yeah, the batter down. Number Whoa. three. First pitch just misses. And nope. another ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The next offering misses. Three and one. Runners at first and second with one goal. And now a full count. Line to left. Ward makes the grab, and there's two out. And now it's going to be number 15. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. Tag, save at home. And it's now a two-run game. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So two on with two away. Next is the designated hitter, Harry McCormick. In there for strike one. And a swing and a miss. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. And one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first, third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Chris Clements. Here's a speed threat, Carpenter. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That clips the inside corner for a strike. And he'll two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. That's towards center. Gillespie pulls it in on the run. The right fielder, number 33, Charlie Jones. Now, Charlie Jones. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Next pitch nope, is outside, outside, and the count is one and one. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Two, one. And the pitch. Fouls one off, two and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high <laughs> fastball and then the bury that curveball down low yeah. to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Stepping in, John Riley. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one. Riley in his fourth year. Just 21 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Yep, that ball went out. 
This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. Sends it to oh. first, and that's the third out. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. And And the batter will be the shortstop, number 64. Not shortstop. Chris, baseball number today, 64. so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Next pitch is inside, 2 and 0. Oh. And there's the strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Out front, rip foul. The punch out there, and now one away. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. I mean, you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And yeah, the batter now, number 19. That's off the mark. And that is ball one. And a curve drops in for a strike. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. To the right side. Connor steps oh. on the bag. And that quickly two away. Now batter. Number 28. And now here is Snyder. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And that's in there for strike one. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. That one fouled off. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at the ballpark. And now, the Bambino Perez, one for three. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Clements keeping him close. Another move to first. Yeah, they're keeping him close. Digging in, Roger Connor. Ball one. Throw, hey. save! Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang, bang. Ow. That hit him. He's got first. Three. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, number three. The second baseman, number three. The wind in the pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Line drive, caught! Now, number now the left fielder, number 15. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Hey. one Good eye right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him. 
And there's two down. Now batting. So but digging in, Harry McCormick. Nick Cormick. First offering misses the mark. And it goes just foul. In there. And so now one and two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Tosses across the first, and that will end the inning. We go to the ninth. Now on the bump, Andres Merced. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back there. And gone! He'll touch them all. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 6-1. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset so two away welcome back and here's the first baseman carpenter the first baseman number and here it comes there's a strike oh and one And a good oh, eye there. The 1-1. One, one. Bunt it back towards the pitcher. Tosses to first. And the bunt doesn't work out. The right fielder, number 33, Charlie Jones. Now it's the right fielder, Charlie Jones. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. There's a strike. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Just baseman. kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came Riley. from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Riley in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And a bunt back at the pitcher. They get one out there, but that's all they'll get. Now batting. Number 64. And now the shortstop, number 64. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Pitch misses, ball one. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know, fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability. That's the ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.
fans, our final line score.